Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Donna Gray. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. Bringing you a really quick video tutorial today showing you what I've been playing around with with the Floral Essence stamp set. This Floral Essence stamp set is available and it's in our annual catalogue, so it's available right now. It is a simply gorgeous flowery stamp set and when it comes to flowers, you've got me every time when it comes to stamp sets with flowers. So I just want to show you a quick card that I did creating um, with this beautiful floral essence stamp set. So first of all, I'm going to have um, a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And my Whisper White cardstock is cut at, I just need to double check those measurements again. And I need to actually cut another one. Okay, so it's cut at, um, it's supposed to be cut at three and five eighths by five and three eighths, okay? Because I want to put another layer underneath and I've forgotten to get that layer out. So I'll do that in a little while. So we've got it um, three and five eighths by five and three eighths. Now I'm gonna bring in a scrap piece of paper to pop underneath my stamping because I'm going to stamp off. Now I'm going to use Seaside Spray, Night of Navy and Grey Granite doing this card. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the large flower, which is this flower just here out of the stamp set and I'm going to ink that up with Seaside Spray because I'm going to use my largest image first. So I'm going to randomly oh, stamp that around and it's totally okay that I dropped that there. So that, randomly stamping them because I'll be able to fill in with some other colors so you won't see it. Okay, so Seaside Spray and I'm going to do one coming down through there. Okay, so then I'm going to take the smaller flower that is very similar to that, so this one here, and I'm going to ink up my Night of Navy ink with this flower, and I'm going to stamp randomly in between here with my Night of Navy. So there, I'll stamp a little bit, a little bit off there. Um, one up here might even randomly stamp one just there which would look okay and a couple up through this top section so one just up in that corner and then a couple off to the side so one there and another one just there okay so you can see we have a nice array of flowers now there's a stamp in here that's a funny leafy type of stamp. So I thought I would take that with my gray granite and just fill in the spots where we've got some white. So you can pop a leaf in where you can see a little bit of white happening. And we can pop some coming out from in here. Need some in there. Uh, maybe one up through there. So randomly just stamping this around. Okay, one up in there, one in there, and maybe one coming down through there, and maybe one out of in here. Okay, so we've got a lovely array of um, flowers and leaves there. Now there is a center to these flowers, so I'm actually going to do them in the gray granite, just keeping that tone happening. So we've got a gray granite one there, one there. So just to fill in, whoa, I nearly did it again. Just to fill in those little gaps. Okay, so that's all the large ones. And then there's a smaller one that will go with the smaller flower. So we're gonna do the same thing again in the small flower. Stamping them around, just filling in that flower center. I turn my cardstock to make it easier. Okay, so 
So we have all of those stamped and looking really, really nice. Now there's a sentiment in this stamp set and it says, all days are beautiful that begin with you. So I think that's a super, super cute saying to, um, to send to maybe a friend um, or a loved one, like a, a family member. So I'm going to stamp that in my Night of Navy. So I'm going to ink that up. I've got a scrap piece of Whisper White here. I'm going to ink that up in Night of Navy and stamp that down. Okay. Now I am going to bring in a retired punch here and you're all going to go, I want that punch, but it is a perfect size and I don't know why, but it has been discontinued. It's the one and three quarter inch circle punch. But if you have the circle framelits, um, you can use your circle framelit, so one and three quarter inch circle there. Then I'm going to bring in my two inch punch and I'm going to punch a piece, a, a circle of Knight of Navy out with my two inch punch. Then I'm going to bring in, I've got my starburst punch and I've got some beautiful silver glimmer paper. So I'm actually going to punch that out in the silver glimmer. So those ones are all going to layer up onto the front of my card. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to pop that one up on some dimensionals. Which I'll grab some here. So a couple of dimensionals on the back of that one and pop it up onto my Knight of Navy layer. Okay, so center that in your circle and line that up and pop it up. And we'll pop some more dimensionals on the back and we'll pop it onto our silver glimmer paper. So that's going to pop our sentiment up onto that starburst circle that I did. And we're going to have that beautiful silver glimmer just shining out behind our sentiment. Now, I looked at that and I thought, that's really cute. But I would really, really like some ribbon to go with that. So I decided to go with our seaside spray ribbon that we have, which is absolutely gorgeous and it's so shimmery and and glittery so i think i will um pop that on in the middle first so with some double-sided tape i'm just going to pop some double-sided tape on the back to be able to stick the ends of my ribbon into so i want it about in the middle so i'm just going to pop that double-sided tape on there grab a pokey tool and take the backings off. Okay, so I'm going to pop the ribbon into that, like so, and come straight across and stick it into the back. And we'll now cut that. Okay, so I'm going to pop this onto a Knight of Navy base, but I think what I wanna do is bring some of that soft sea foam in as a layer in behind that Knight of Navy base. So I'll just grab some soft sea foam, hard stop, and we'll have to cut that. I do apologize for not having this done earlier. So we're going to cut that one at five and a half inches by three and three quarter inches. Okay, and that should layer up nicely underneath that layer that we just did, which it does. It gives me a 16th of an inch border all the way around. So I'm going to use some of our Tombow to layer those two layers together. The reason I use my Tombow is because it gives me that wiggle room. And although you've got double-sided tape on the back here, if you put your Tombow over the double-sided tape, you can still wiggle this layer around. It takes the stickiness off that double-sided tape. So we're going to layer that up onto our seaside spray layer. So just like so. So we get a, a beautiful, minute 
border all the way around. Then we're going to, with our base, our base is cut at five and three quarter inches by eight inches, and we're gonna fold that in half. And use our bone folder to crease it nicely. Okay, so we've got that, we've got that, and we've got that. I'm now gonna bring in my layer for the inside. Just gonna double check <clears throat> this is the right layer for the inside which it is, so I'm going to bring in my scrap piece of paper once again and I'm going to stamp the same similar types of images just down in the corner to bring some of the front of the card into the inside of the card. So I'm going to grab the large stamp and I'm just gonna stamp one of those across the corner. I'm gonna grab the smaller flower and one up there and one down here and a little bit just there. I'll get the gray granite with the leaf again and we'll pop some leaves in there, some in there, a couple coming out through here, a couple up here and maybe a couple coming out through there. Okay. So now that is going to make the inside of our card match the outside of our card. So with some Tombow, we're going to glue that to the inside. And that will fit nicely on the inside there with a little eighth of an inch border all the way around. And the front, we're going to um, glue directly straight down onto our card with our liquid Tombow because we've got a fair bit of dimension in that sentiment. So I think we'll just glue this one directly down. Okay, so like that. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to pop our sentiment up again on dimensionals on the front. I also want to put a bow and I also want to put some other things to decorate it up a little bit, a bit of bling. Okay, so we've got that and we'll pop that up on the front. I'm thinking I'm going to pop it there because I want to pop a bow over on this side. So I'm going to tie a nice bow with our ribbon. So a cute little, whoop, cute little bow. Better. So, okay, so I want my bow to sit. Oh, do I? Yeah, so I want my bow to sit there. Do I want to sit that way? No, I think I like it that way. I'm just going to pop a little bit of double sided tape underneath my bow so that my bow will sit really nicely. A tiny little bit of double-sided tape and I'm going to stick it on the ribbon and onto the front of my card so that I actually get it adhered to the cardstock as well as the ribbon so that it, it sits nice and flat. Okay, so I'm going to pop that ribbon in there into that double-sided tape which looks super, super cute. And we also have our gorgeous faceted dots which are in the in colors. So I'm actually going to grab some of those and pop them onto the card. So I think I just want a medium one, which I might pop a medium one there and a small one here and maybe another small one just up in there. So three is always pleasing to the eye. Three odd numbers, three, five, 
um, so when you're placing your gems around. So I hope you enjoyed that video tutorial showing you how to make a gorgeous quick card with the Floral Essence stamp set. So as you can see, beautiful on the front, you've bought in some of the inside uh, some of the front to the inside as well. So if this is the first time you've watched my YouTube channel, I'm the owner and the creator of stampingwithdonnag.com and I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and turn on down below in the right hand corner, you'll see a little button um, and also click the bell notification because this actually notifies you every time I upload a video. Now any of these items, as I said, will be available in my online store. They're available right now to purchase I will put a list down the bottom in the show more information I would really really appreciate if you live in Australia I'd really really appreciate your online orders it helps me bring more of these videos to you hopefully you enjoyed that today and everybody have a lovely day bye for now